Okay, um, so I almost forgot it was freaking Wednesday. So I'm happy now that I got, I got it right. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so I believe the topic was, my throat hurts. <laughs> I believe the topic was um what we want to talk about what we want to be when we grow up all right i have like multiple list things okay maybe it's like four three or four things but you know you get it but my major one is i want to be in a band and i want to be the singer for it i mean i've tried a guitar and i just suck balls at it um i know i didn't have a lot of practice or anything but I suck balls at it, but I still have it. It's only on occasion that I try. Um, but yeah, basically, being in a band and like singing and everything like that has always been my dream since I was like two. I don't know when, but I was just really younger than I am now, and it's just always been that. I've had other, t I've had times where I was like, I want to give up on this. Because I feel like I'm not good at it, but from what I've heard that I'm really good at it. And then other times, like, I'll listen to a backup recording, I'll be like, ew, this sounds like shit. <laughs> but it's still my major dream type deal thing to do. Like, I've tried making a band before, but we had, like, no experience whatsoever. So... It was pretty sucky. Like, we had no luck with that at all. <laughs> and me and Carly actually want to make a band. And I think she's going to do bass. <laughs> but the thing is, she needs to learn it first. And then we're going to have to find more people. So, that'd be hard. Um, Another thingy, my bobber, <laughs> I want to do or be when I grow up or whatever is like a poet, author, type writer, person, thing I have no exact title so I'm just going to say writer it's just like I love writing and another like influence like that for writing that I've done is my dad because he's always like influenced me or whatever or told me that I was good at writing and that uh, that would be something in my life that I could do and basically he's like encouraged me a lot more to write and all that great shizzliestness and I, I get um why am I doing that okay I get like really creative I guess with writing but I write songs and poems and sometimes stories and all that type of stuff it's never really all the time happy, <laughs> but if I have to use, like, examples or something, or whatever, I would, and I would try to make it as creative as possible. <laughs> Sometimes it's, like, whatever I write is, like, really confusing, but it's supposed to be, and if I write a song, like, you can completely tell, well, sometimes you can completely tell my influences for songs. Um... Um, ow, my back. What the frick was the other one? Oh my god, I don't know myself. Um. Oh, yeah. Um, animals. Like, I've wanted to... Ew. <laughs> I've wanted to work with animals. I wanted to be a vet, but just dealing with all the needles and dying animals and putting them to sleep and stuff would kill me on the inside like I mean I know it would be helping them and stuff but it'd just be too much like I can't I can't handle seeing an animal die <laughs> um but if there's another working with animals thing like working at a store or something with animals uh 
like my mom does. She works at a puppet store. But stuff like that, but I would handle it. Because I love animals, like I love dogs and I love cats and stuff like that. So it'd be fun. I could work at a zoo. <laughs> I wanna work with lions. Nah, but I, I do like lions. <laughs> I like cats and I like dogs and I like bears. And I <laughs> okay. Um, what the frig was the other ones? Um, I know that there was acting or something with all that, like acting and stuff, just basically theater stuff, I don't know, shows, I don't, I don't know, just acting in general, but the thing is, like, I'm very shy, so, <laughs> school some, usually, all the time. Um, oh, now I remember. Stuff with art. <laughs> I, I can't draw people, and I can't draw, like, sorry, that's my cat. I can't draw other things. Like, I can't draw that well, unless I really, really try. But I can't copy anything. <laughs> and I'm really good at, like, lettering stuff. Like, if I wrote my name or something, I can make it in, like, these weird shapes and letters and all that um i usually like the pencil stuff though <laughs> like i like pencil more than pen and marker and all that other stuff um actually but basically with <laughs> forget what i'm just gonna say basically with art it's just like right like writing stuff or just being really creative with stuff like i made this picture thing it's on my wall, so I don't feel like getting up. Uh, it says, Vampires Will Never Hurt You. And I wrote it in, like, the lettering. And then I put stuff in the background on the sides or something like that. I made these little fangs. <laughs> don't ask. Um, and I had... It's actually right next to me. Where did it go? Ah. Yeah, it was this thing. It was from Halloween. It's the red... that thing um you okay, know I look like I have a cut on my eye uh, <laughs> um I put it on the paper and like I spread it around like that and chiseled shit and I made it look like blood and like cuts everywhere I don't know I'm crazy and then another one I'm just gonna say this is the last one it was like therapy or advice or like a counselor or something because I do like helping people and making people feel better as much as I don't like people in general but I really want to help them like if they're in pain or something so that would be another one um I did my speech yesterday it was pretty bad actually no it wasn't we had a half day yesterday, and uh, Carly came over, we did this thing, and more things. We were like sick the rest of the night. Because thank you London and Haley for giving us a ideas on Capri Sun challenges that me and Carly tried yesterday and became sick. She made it to, Carly made it to like 12 of them and she almost made it she couldn't take it anymore and I made it to like seven and a half or eight <laughs> I, I just couldn't do it anymore um but yeah I did my speech yesterday and I got cut off by the bell because the classes were shortened that actually made me very happy sorry forgive me for choosing the fire floor. what was the music don't charge motherfucker <laughs> what was I listening to on the bus? Ah. Play, you mother of a bitch. It won't play. I'm sad. It won't play, and I'm angry now. Oh. <laughs> Would you care?
What? I said the wrong way. Okay. Um, I switched it. Sorry. Okay. Um. So yeah, I got cut off by the bell, but my speech was about uh, like the history and background and rock. Lose my voice. Of uh, rock music and things like that. So my throat hurts. Yes. <laughs> Ow. So I'm gonna go now, I think. I'm a frog. Am I manly enough for you now? And all the cyanide you drank I don't know In the middle of a gunfight I was like, in the same restaurant, the same. Come with your arms raised high. Love, I'm never gonna get me. Like a bullet through a fly, cause I'm so.